feel like my mind's all over the place, but I'm feeling good. Oh my god. Oh, do you want to say hi? Hello. <laughs> I have my orange juice to boost my immune system. You guys, be good to my friend Christine, all right? You guys thinking I have it all together all the time because I definitely do not. <laughs> I make I make YouTube videos, so I'm vlogging. Hi. Oh, are these seeds? Wait, honestly, I don't think it smells that bad. It's delicious. All right, pass it back when you. Is it really? Whoa. I don't think it's bad. I'm so scared. Oh my god. Oh, do you want to say hi? Hello. Like We're trying really durian. Good, so. Wait, I've had durian before. Oh, so, so okay. We can durian. Durian. <laughs> so, so that's bad. Are we all tasting it? We're eating uh, durian. Like, okay, ready? Yeah. Okay. Okay. They're YouTubers. <laughs> They're the same name as me. <laughs> <laughs> They're terrible. I don't think it tastes bad. Yeah, I think it's just bad. So I wouldn't eat it if you saw it. Wait, I can't yeah. verbalize how I feel about this. I can't. This one I'm saying. He's like, I'm not. What's up, YouTube? I'm here again. I know the fans have been waiting. We're at a we're at a cafe right now because we matched on day to match. <laughs> and we came for the free food. And we get free food. So. <laughs> free food. I'm trying to not like grab it with my grubby hands. Hey. You can that. Here's my. Here's our choc our free chocolate mousse. My my sandwich my sandwich. Christine. And then of course there's me. I know. <laughs> We're just chatting away. We're just chatting. Chan about our lives. About our lives. <laughs> about, about our tumultuous lives. Tumultuous indeed. You guys, be good to my friend Christine, alright? Because <laughs> she's the homie. I feel like this is not really well focused. It's that's better than I could have ever dreamed. Oh, it looks so tired. Why did you put me? I look so exhausted. It's about. Say bye. Goodbye to the, the people. Hopefully I make it to the video. <laughs> you go. I hated that. Oh my god. So it is Sunday, February 16th, and tomorrow's President's Day. So I basically have the day off tomorrow, no classes. And I technically don't have anything planned, but nonetheless, I still have things to do. I have to do my laundry. I have some homework to do. I'm gonna try to get ahead, get ahead tonight. I wanna go to the gym tomorrow morning, just like random stuff like that. But mostly it's gonna be a good reset day for me um, to just try to get ahead because I think these next few weeks are going to be rather hectic. It's 10, 20, 10, uh, 10 22 p.m. I'm going to clean my desk it's quite messy so i'm going to clean that get ready for bed like wash my makeup off and maybe do a face mask get as much homework done tonight as i can and then get some sleep because i've been falling behind on sleep and i'm really tired so we're gonna do that So, I just finished cleaning my desk. So nice. These are the flowers that Annabelle and Nina got for me for Valentine's Day. They're drooping a little bit. I think because this is such like a tight bottle, but that's what we're working with for now. Um, so, I'm just going to take out the recycling, trash, and then probably wash these. <laughs> and then I should be ready to do my face routine and now it is 11 p.m and i'm finally gonna start my homework <laughs> anyways i'm gonna go take out the trash hi guys just wanted to check in really quickly um it's now monday 
and it is 11.46 a.m. I just finished getting ready for today, just jeans and sweater. Um, not gonna lie, I had a bit of a rough morning because it was my own fault. I submitted a piece set. Well, I submitted it on time, but I started it very late, so I was up like all night working on it, and then I had to get help, and it was just really, really bad, so I'm kind of disappointed in myself about that. So, probably going to go to Starbucks or something, and then drink some coffee and have some breakfast, food in general, and just try to learn the material so that I feel a little bit more confident about doing it by myself, then probably head to Cabot or Annenberg or something like that, Cabot, the library, Annenberg, the dining hall, to meet my friend Megumi to work on a different homework assignment that we have to do tomorrow, so yeah um just want to show you guys not always perfect sometimes you plan things doesn't go your way it's okay just shake it off and keep moving that's the thing i have to really tell myself today because i am still pretty disappointed in myself for procrastinating that much but again it's okay it happens so i'm just gonna have to get going and get my day started <music> Hey guys, it's Christine, and I just wanted to say something that's been on my mind for a little while now. Basically, it's the whole concept of being overwhelmed, um, disappointment, maybe when you aren't necessarily feeling 100%, but you're not necessarily 0% either. Um, Maybe you're just somewhere around like 60%. It's just like feeling eh. Um, I've been feeling like that quite a bit lately. And um, I didn't want to talk, I, I don't know. It's just like something that people don't really like vocalize just because it happens so often. But I didn't want you guys to have this misconception of me that maybe entails you guys thinking I have it all together all the time because I definitely do not and just to be completely candid about that I'll just let you know like I don't necessarily like love my body I don't necessarily um, have it together in terms of my classes and like staying on top of my assignments I don't necessarily um, always treat my friends the way that they should be treated I don't necessarily have everything figured out with like what I want to do for like the summer or like my career or anything like that like I just got turned down from both of my summer applications that I put in for a study abroad and then I just found out a lot of my friends got into their top programs so at first I was fine with it but then thinking about it more and hearing about more and more people getting to the ones that they wanted to that kind of like added on again just feeling like I don't really have a set schedule that's like really keeping me on top i know that i'm doing a decent job but for myself <coughs> also i'm feeling kind of sick so that's cool <laughs> knowing that i have such high expectations for myself this kind of feeling of unease that isn't it, it isn't really like warranted i don't really have a reason to feel this way right now except for the fact that i just have such high expectations for myself that call all kind of like adds up every once in a while and it i'm not saying at all that i feel like this all the time i'm very lucky in the fact that i don't feel like this all the time and i'm very lucky that this is really as bad as it ever gets knock on wood it's something that whenever i think about it too much or linger on it it definitely can get into my headspace and it's definitely something that can really affect me um so i just want to be honest about that uh, i think i'm getting out of that little rut right now um but it's just little things like the study abroad news came out today so that's kind of put, you know putting me getting me a little down and then um assignments i feel like i don't really i feel like i'm just like like keeping up with my classes i don't necessarily feel like i'm on top of it which is something that I like to feel just personally. I just wanted to share that with you guys and just let you guys know that this is something that's pretty uh, real. It's a real experience. I'm sure if you talk to a lot of other people, they would also feel it too. Um, obviously, it's personal to everyone. Everyone has different waves and versions of this kind of like stuck in a rut kind of feeling, but this is mine. And I hope you guys know that 
you know, if you guys are ever going through anything, I'm here to support you guys. You're just gonna have to accept that this is something that happens. It's happening kind of to me right now. And the best you can do is just write it out and, you know, treat yourself. I just had some cookies while watching uh, one of my K-dramas, so feeling pretty, pretty good now, feeling a little better. Um, so yeah, you just have to prioritize yourself and, you know, keep yourself in check, recognize when you are in one of those stages and be honest with yourself in recognizing that or admitting it. And then just, you know, go with it, go with the flow. That was kind of rambly, I admit, but I just really wanted to get that all off my chest. I don't know if I necessarily said everything that I wanted to. I mean, it was something that I did want to say. So thanks. Thanks for hearing me out. Um, yeah, hopefully I can be a little bit more honest about things like this in the future. That's kind of why I don't like making like cookie cutter-esque videos, um, or at least I try not to. Um, yeah, so thank you for hearing my rambly story. And I will see you guys soon, next time soon. Christine, hi, how are you? Hope you guys are having a great day. I went to the gym this morning around like nine-ish. Um, I was there for like an hour and then um, I had class at 10.30, so I grabbed a quick breakfast around 10 and then went to class. I just got out of class, it's 12 now. And, um, well actually I just stopped by um, Broadway Market to grab some sushi for lunch. I also got coffee. Um, so, feeling good, feeling a lot better since last time I checked in. I think in general these past few days have been just really weird for me. Um, I just feel like I've been in a funk and not really taking care of myself as much as I should, which I know I said before, but this is the uh, part of my reset of really just getting back into the swing of things and I'm really busy today. Um, just looking at my, my laptop right now and seeing what I have to do. So right now I'm gonna try to watch a film that I missed yesterday for one of my classes. I have to watch a film and write an analysis. So I'm gonna try to do that right now and then take a quick shower, go to class at 1.30, work from three to five. There's this um, MD, PhD, like workshop kind of thing, panel from five to seven. So I might go there, we'll see. Um, but I have a midterm tomorrow, so I really should be studying for that. And then I'm just gonna study like literally all day for the rest of the night. Yeah, I feel like my mind's all over the place, but I'm feeling good. I'm feeling a lot better now. So, um, we're doing good. Doing great. Ooh, I feel like I've been full speed since this morning. So just slow down, eat my sushi, which I'm very excited for. And hopefully I'll check in with you guys soon. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> I have my orange juice to boost my immune system. Emergency. Emergency. Fully dying. Oh. Noelle yeah. is right there. Yeah. Time to study. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. We're studying for the same subject. How's that? Oh my gosh, hi, you two. I pointed to you in the corner. <laughs> Kitty. All right, bye.